So, I've got a block of stone outside. It's kind of a weird, irregular shape. Um, and right over there is the block. It's about uh, 40 inches overall. But uh, as you can see, for, I think it's 42 inches maybe. But as you can see, it's, it's somewhat irregularly shaped. Somewhere in there, there's a rectangle, about a rectangular block, about 12 by 16 by 34, 36, something like that. But it's hard to tell until we uh, square up the ends and see exactly how big it is. So It's overall 16 inches wide and sort of 12 inches deep and about 42 or so inches long but it's actually kind of shaped like this piece is missing and there's some stuff from the back and a little bit of this is funky so I'm figuring I can get about 34 inches out of it after I sort of square it up and this is about 16 inches and this is about 12 inches right so if I work two to one I can get a I can I can have a square block now or you know squared up block that won't be square but uh, of about uh, uh, 12 by 16 by 34 and if I go two to one that'll be about six by eight by uh, 17 so this this is the sculpture I make is going to have to be sort of bounded by um, by an imaginary box that's of this size. Anything that fits in there I can do. Anything that doesn't fit in there is 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 going to stick outside the boundaries of, of the stone, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I, I, uh, the way I'm planning on doing this, um, we'll work we'll work it out in the course of making the model, but. Um, I'm actually thinking about making it sort of uh, uh, non-finito, of, of carving it uh, from the front and leaving uh, about half the block uncarved, just carving the figure into the front and leaving um, a, good, a good deal of this not finished. We'll see though. Uh, and we'll see how the, the model goes and then we'll see how it looks um, next to the prepared stone and uh, and and you don't have to stop. You can go ahead and carve the whole model. Um, so we'll see what it works. So how big is this block? Let's just um, uh, um, let's figure out what this weighs. This is 16 inches wide. That's that's four inches bigger than a foot, right? Let's, let's call this three feet. I've got three feet of stone, and uh, uh, in the finished block. So I've got that's three feet. By three, you know, that's three feet, and it's a foot wide and a foot, a foot this way. So that's three cubic feet. But then I have half of that left over, uh, you know, because it's it, we, I still have another. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, a third of that left over. So uh, we still have one point. Uh, let's call it one point three three. So so this is the number of cubic feet of stone that we have, give or take. And there's actually a good deal more of that. There's probably another at least another cubic foot of stone that we're going to have to trim off. But the, f the, the, the roughed out, squared up block is going to be um, 3 times 1.333 times 185. Uh, so we get about 739, 740 pounds. So, so this block squared off should be about 740 pounds uh, and it's probably got another cubic foot or more probably more than another cubic feet um, so so we'll add uh, so j just the, the raw stone before we start trimming it up is going to be at least a couple hundred a couple hundred more pounds so we're talking about 940 pounds give or take that's probably an underestimate of the of the weight of that raw block. So it's not a trivial amount of weight. It's a half a ton. Call it a half a ton. Okay. Now let's just see what's going to fit in here. 
Um, if a woman, let's say a typical woman is uh, to make this life size would be about five foot five, say. That's 65 inches. And the, the sculpture that I have envisioned is sort of from upper thigh to, to neck. So I'm going to call that four, uh, four sevenths of her total height. Um, oops. Um, 65 times 4 divided by 7. So we're talking about sculpting about 37, so 65 inches times uh, 4 sevenths. That's how much of her total height it is, is we're going to be carving. And then uh, uh, that gives 30, equals 37 inches. So we're actually a little short. Uh, we're about three inches short of enough stone to, uh, to carve that full distance. It, it's hard to say exactly what it is because I, I, I don't know yet how big this is. I'm sure I can get 34 inches out of it. Maybe I can get a little more. So um, we're, just, we're just sort of in the right neighborhood for exactly life size. Now exactly life size tends to look a little bit on the small side in a sculpture. Uh, sculpture doesn't move and breathe, it has no color, so everything looks a little bit smaller. So, um, I'm surprised. Looking at that block, I would have said it was way more than big enough for a torso, and now it's touch and go. But we'll see. Let's, uh, let's build a, uh, uh, a two-to-one model of this, see what happens. Our sculpture has to fit in a... In a, in a uh, rectangular box at 17 inches high. Now I've got this big box of parts here. I think we can uh, make an armature. Uh, let's get an idea here. This here is called a floor flange. It's just a malleable iron uh, plate that's threaded in the middle to screw something to. These things are wonderful. They're an extremely strong combination of pipe and a floor flange. Boom. And that gives us about 12 inches. Yeah, so. so that'll do us. That's, that totals out to about 15 inches high, which is fine. Um, we'll just cut this off and uh, um, cut this off and put something else in there just to, to give it a little more support. But we should be good. All right, so let's, uh, let's make this armature. Uh, all made out of a drill bit, uh, scrap of wood. Done with this. That, that's super easy and, and really strong. Like this is way stronger than it needs to be. It's just a handy size. Like I, I get away with a, f a fraction of this, but um, it's just a handy size. And not much to this. I'll just, just in the interest of completeness, I'm just going to do it on camera.
but this is a standard hacksaw. It's a kind of a dull, dull hacksaw actually, but could have gone a lot faster than that. So I just uh, happen to have a bunch of this rebar around here. So this is. put it together something like this. I wanted that to stick out a little bit more. Um, but it's only going to be about eight inches wide. So that, that's already five five inches. So you know it's it's pretty small. So um, I put some uh, shellac Black on the base, Cause I, just because I wanted to uh, not soak the water out of the clay too fast. This is this is that iron wire I was talking about. It's super uh, uh, useful, dirt cheap. Right, so I'll put a couple pieces of wood on there, and then those will, those will keep it from settling. Bit of bang. 